say that uh, we've done our preparations and uh, we're looking forward to the challenge ahead. I think it's a, it's a good experience for the players um, to just um, showcase the, their skills. I think they're up for the, for the challenge. Um, and uh, yeah, our preparations actually went really, really well. And uh, now it's just um, time for us to, to do the deed. It's, it's basically just giving all our uh, secrets away in front of all of the uh, coaches here. Um, now, just to answer that question, I think um, Katrina um, basically uh, just stood down as captain um, because of personal reasons. I think our team actually agree with me. I think it's always good to have the tag as the underdogs in any competition because I think there's, there's not that much pressure on the team. Um, and as you mentioned, obviously, we're the, we were the finalists in Division 2. Uh, which obviously gives a bit of momentum going into Division 1 as well. Looking forward to the uh, challenge ahead. I know uh, the Division 2 qualifiers compared to the Division 1 that we're currently going to be playing is two totally different uh, ball games. But uh, we've got the advantage uh, considering the fact that we were here for the Division 2 and played in both uh, the grounds and we are quite aware of the of the challenges and the, what, the, what the wickets will offer us. So we're looking forward to the challenge and we take the boxes. Yeah. It was a good thing that Rwanda qualified for the World Cup the last time round. I think it was a great motivation, especially for the East, uh, East uh, African region. And uh, we took it as a challenge and uh, we hope that uh, one of the East African nations grab the sports again. But uh, totally in the African continent, I can see the game developing well. And if we get more slots to qualify for the World Cup, then it will be good. But uh, since we only have one, may the best team uh, qualify. In any game, yeah, we know you meant to qualify, kind number one, and it is good things to us and to our countries. It's good, and we want to work hard in Division One, and we want to fight for it. Yes, in Division Two. Our batting was low, but now we're changing more things about our batting because we are good at feuding. Yes, and we know to learn, uh, learn to our, our other team. Um, we went back to the drawing board, we learned our mistakes, and we worked on them, and we came back strong, fighting for our place in Division 1. Yeah, and we hope, we hope that we'll qualify to the World Cup. We are not looking far ahead for the finals or for the qualifications. If you, look, if you look that far ahead, I think in the middle you lose the process again. So like I said earlier, we're just focusing to take it one game at a time. We tick the boxes and we move along. I think that's the best way to approach it. We're not looking far ahead. Yes, every team wants to qualify, but there is a process to follow that qualification. So we'll just take it one game at a time. Um, to the answer there, I think... What we actually mentioned earlier uh, with, uh, with Rwanda actually calling for the, for the previous World Cup, I think it's just an inspiration to all the rest of the teams as well. Um, if they can do it, obviously we can do it. Yes, we are a much smaller country. Um, we do have smaller numbers, but I think as my captain mentioned, we are definitely up for the challenge and we'll take it as, um, as the days go on. So, yeah, that's all I want to say to that. Part of the tournament, um, however, when we received news that uh, the tournament had been pushed, we were kind of disappointed. The kids were disappointed since uh, they had missed out their exams. Uh, but it's also um, a blessing in disguise that we got more time to train with the girls. And um, it being that it, uh, we've been in holidays back home, uh, we've prepared uh, enough to compete with uh, uh, our dear uh, neighbors and sisters from various nations. Uh, to make the tournament um, competitive. Um, uh, as Uganda, we are ready to fight uh, to qualify for the World Cup. And um, yeah, uh, we wish that we, we get good weather in Rwanda and um, also um, tick the boxes like, uh, like my brother Morris just said. Definitely it was a bit disappointing uh, for everyone, for the girls, because there's a certain mindset that you have going into a tournament, then um, you're told to go back uh, to the drawing board so that you can come again to qualify with different dynamics. Um, it was a bit destabilizing, but uh, yeah, we always pick the good out of any situation.
and that gave us an opportunity to train more. I believe uh, more training gives you more confidence. So I believe that added uh, to our own training and it is an advantage to us as well. Point of correction to the journalist, we are not beaten in the finals. Actually, we lost Rwanda in the semi-finals uh, back in uh, Habron, Botswana. However, um, like you've always said, um, it's just a game of cricket. Uh, that time round, it was Rwanda uh, that um, did whatever they, whatever they did right. However, leaving other factors constant that Rwanda is home, we are not scared. Yeah, we are willing to play against Rwanda, and uh, inshallah, we are willing to win against Rwanda. The Kuiwuka tournament that took place here had uh, some of our players in the junior team who qualified to play for the senior team. However, not all of them that played in the Kuiwuka are here because of uh, exams and um, maybe they're not fit to play right now. However, we have like uh, five who played in the Kuiwuka who are here for the World Cup qualifier. Yes, because um, you know, the more you play, the more confidence you get. And um, Rwanda is like home to Uganda. They are all um, in East Africa. And the conditions are just the same like Uganda. So there's nothing, there's, too, there's not too much change in the weather or, maybe, or the grounds. So we're happy to be in Rwanda. Um, personally, I've been playing to, uh, for more than 20 years uh, with the Kenya national team. And I feel like right now I have gathered experience, enough experience to impact younger players who are coming up. So I am not really threatened by the male dominated uh, coaching crew. I believe whatever it is that I have is sufficient and enough to ensure that the team qualifies. Uh, before we were having unofficial camps and um, we were still preparing in our different capacities, of course, not together, but I feel like this one month has solidified the team and uh, made it in sync. So I feel like that one month was sufficient for us. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. There is nothing really much to say, but I would say we, we have trained enough and we have, with the trainees, we have gathered a lot of confidence as a team and as individuals as well. Um, I feel like coming into this tournament, we are coming to the, with the mindset of we are not coming to underestimate any team and as well as we are not coming to underestimate our own selves and our abilities as well. So with what we have, we have been able to identify our weakness and our strength as well. So coming to this tournament, we are ready to work on our strength, take every game as it is, then see us moving forward. Uh, definitely the other tournament, the Kwibuka tournament, was for the senior, senior team. So the captain was different. So we chose a different captain for under-19. Yes. Operation got to some sort of a stage where we were all ready to, to start the tournament. And then obviously we had to make some different arrangements. And since then we moved into a national women's tournament with Zimbabwe and UAE at home in Bintuk. So our preparations at the stage, we, we actually got to a stage of the under-90s where we were really prepared after a series against Zimbabwe at home as well. But obviously you had to change and sometimes you have to control what you can control. And unfortunately the tournament got postponed, but um, we still prepared. We prepared well and um, same like any other nation here yeah, and there's not going to be any easy matches, but we're as prepared as we can be. Uh, it's a bit uh, disappointing uh, that the uh, tournament uh, delayed one month. Uh, uh, it was... Uh, uh, but uh, it's good also, you, you can say you get one more uh, month extra for preparation and the uh, team d uh, did a quite uh, good uh, practice sessions and everything, we are prepared for this tournament. You've got to control what you can control. So our preparation never stopped, um, but it, it was a little bit different circumstances because we went into a national tournament as well. But uh, fortunately our domestic structure works like that as well, so they continued with matches in our pipeline. So uh, the girls are ready and they're up for it got that question wrong so we're definitely not backing ourselves to win the tournament we're not arrogant that's not what I've said so it's nothing like that so uh, there's, there's some seriously good teams here so we, we're a humble team so we don't take anything for granted I, I mean there's some big guns sitting in this in this room um, but the main thing is everyone is comparing for the same tournament everyone's got the desire to win we're definitely not arrogant so if, if I got your 
you're wrong there. I do apologize for that. We, we're not an arrogant team. So we've got utmost respect for everyone here and we know it's going to be tough. 100%. I think all of the teams here are here for the same reason and that is to qualify. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. So we are going to fight to win the tournament, but we know that all of the teams have an equal um, chance to win in the end. I uh, see basically everyone here to everyone looking for World Cup. Uh, so everyone prepare for that and we also looking for that. Uh, hope for the best. Uh, we are looking for uh, one game at a time. And we are trying to we will try to play quality cricket here.